Let me tell you about the time that I decided to build a shitty e-bike and challenge my best friend Mike to a race. So how did this all start? Well, this whole thing started when I was trying to think of a new project to take on during lockdown. I ended up settling on the idea of building an e-bike because I already had everything I needed lying around the house from previous projects. All I needed was the bike itself, and it had to have 20 inch wheels because that's the size of my hub motor. Which is why I ended up settling on this beauty. A vintage folding bike that was made in the 60s. I thought it was pretty cool, but something about this didn't seem entertaining enough. I mean, I've built more exciting projects in the past. I needed a bit of a challenge or something to make this project more exciting. Ready? You wanna see what I bought? Okay. What Cheers. I bought. What is this thing? It's a vintage folding bike. I am down for this. But you know what it reminded me of? What? Your e-bike it looks oh, the exact really? same yeah yeah oh, i'm thinking those. i'm gonna build it into an e-bike and i'm gonna race your e-bike oh we're gonna do a little challenge we gotta here. do it man i would love to do it so you said yeah. what year is this 1960 i think something oh, like that my. it's got the nice bell wow that's what i said too <laughs> wow this is smooth all right, guys, so we're gonna have the e-bike showdown. We're gonna have the the rally. I don't even know what to call this thing. Yeah, what, what is this thing called? <laughs> it says Rally Sport on the front. Is it really? Yeah, the Rally Sport. <laughs> so we're gonna have the Rally Sport versus the electric. All right, so we got a 500 watt, 48 volt e-bike, and then mine's also gonna be 48 volts, but it's gonna be 1500 watts, so. <laughs> I mean, I think we know who's going to win the race, but I think it's still cool to do a race. Hey, you know what we got to do? We got to do a race on the road, and then we got to do a race in the bush or something. Oh like yeah, we should tires, do off-road too, yes. Because yeah. you got a lot of power, but I would really like to see what that thing would do if we're out in the bush, because this has got the fat tires, so... Yes. It, it's, it, it'd be an interesting one. So mine's going to have front wheel drive, but yours is a rear wheel. Yeah. And yours is meant to go off-road, but mine's clearly not. So maybe this race will be a little bit fair. All right, guys, comment below. Who do you think is going to win? The electric or the rally sport? <laughs> I don't know what we're doing now. <laughs> All right, so I'll go over the parts that I'm gonna be using for this build. I've got the 48 volt, 1500 watt hub motor, and this is from my first electric drift strike build. So I've just had this thing sitting around the house. And we've also got our speed controller, the battery, and the thumb throttle. And those are all the components that I'm gonna be using to build this e-bike. Nice and simple. All right, I got the motor mounted in the place and the plan is to put the battery on the back right on there. As you can see, it fits perfectly. So I'm gonna make a little bracket to house the battery there and then I'll work on getting the controller mounted after that. Why should I stay All right, so there we go. The bike is finished. Uh, this was a bit of a rush because we plan to have the race for tomorrow. So I had to slap this thing together in a couple of days, but yeah, I still need to figure out where we're gonna have the race. So I'm gonna go figure that out and I'll see you guys there. So I ended up deciding that we would have the event at a local conservation area in hopes that there wouldn't be a lot of hikers. 
The plan was to have a total of three races, one on the trail, one on the street, and the final race would be a combination of both. So with the help of my friends out on each track filming, I was able to get enough footage to put this together. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the race. That's awesome. Old Rusty, look at that battery bag though. There we go. That's hilarious. Make sure that screw's tight off. You know? We got the old Rusty bucket. You should have posted on First the new money. Any pre-race jitters, Mike? I'm pretty comfortable, pretty confident. <laughs> I think we got it in the bag. Well, what do you say to that? I think I'm winning this one, for sure. No problem, eh? No problem. Old, reliable. All right, Joel, what do you think? Uh, I think uh, electric bike's gonna win because of the nice big tires. Yeah, eh? You know, that's, uh, that's quite a difference. You got the pizza cutters and the tank tires. <laughs> the pizza cutters. <laughs> Rod? I think, I think if Austin can navigate the corners, I think he's going to take Mike in the straightaways. In the straightaways. That, that's my prediction. So, uh, you know, he's got a corner for Doe here. If he can make the corners, then he's in good shape. <laughs> Pray he doesn't crash. <laughs> Tim? Well, you know, Mike's got a, a bigger bike. He's got better tires. He's uh, got more race experience in this situation. So I'm going to go with Austin. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> wow. The beginning of the great rally race, COVID-19 style. On your marks, get set, go. Instant yard sale. Instant yard sale. That hurts. Restart, restart. That hurts. <laughs> Huge <laughs> chain blow. <laughs> Way too funny. Alright, let's set it. Okay, take two of the rally race, COVID-19 style. On your marks, get set, go! Mike takes the lead in the first bottleneck. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, I don't have any adequate mechanical brakes. Are you crazy? It's this way, man. <laughs> Here it comes. Austin's struggling. Mike's got the lead all the way to the branch. Little tires are struggling. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This spot will be someone's death. Plastered up against that shed in the main bottleneck. Austin wall, I'm falling behind a little bit. Oh, he's coming in hot. It's a tight corner, too. <laughs> oh, he took it better than Mike, so advantage Austin. <laughs> Here we go. Mike's flying. Mike's flying. Here comes Austin. He's closing the gap. Up the hill. And here comes Mike flying down the bottleneck. Looks like he has a commanding lead. Old Rusty does not have what it takes. He passes the line at the shed. Here comes Austin flying down those skinny tires. He's leaning. Oh, oh no. Oh no! Looks like the built bike left one massive skid mark up this hill. Zero traction. And it's off. Big slip off from Austin. Mike falls behind.
epic race, the Battle of Wills, old versus the new. Who's got the edge in horsepower? <laughs> no contest. Victory for Austin. <laughs> and who is lagging behind? The new bike. Mr. Big Shot. How do you feel, Austin, having just won the Indy Bike 500? I feel like a champ. And they're off. Off to the finish line. Starting line. Alright. Alright. I'll count this down. Sounds good. Three, two, one, go. Austin with a commanding lead, but is it enough to keep it on the track? Big corner, big wipeout. Don't wipe out. Big acceleration. Now they go down the trail. Can Austin keep it together? Final race. Asti on Old Faithful has the lead. Oh, no. <laughs> he gets the pass, Austin stuck. He's got a lot of ground to catch up now. Oh, he's losing it, he's going down. Oh, oh. So that's Michael in the lead. Oh, Austin's tighter this time. It's closer, Austin. Clean corner, you have a chance. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you got caught going the wrong way. That's okay. Still got the lead coming through the S's. Comes Austin making up a little bit of ground, but he's got the mud to contend with. Flying through the corner. Mike's maintaining the lead. Ah, oh, it's Mike. Epic win. Oh, Austin. Here he comes, trickling down the rear. No! <laughs> So the winner of the COVID-19 rally race between the new money and old Rusty is Michael Andres. Woo! <laughs> that thing is <laughs> so Mike came out on top and unfortunately old Rusty and I are the losers. If there's one thing I did learn, it's that old Rusty should probably stick to the streets and stay away from the trails. Also, I take back calling this thing a shitty e-bike because I've been driving it all around town and it's actually a really smooth ride, it's quiet, and it goes over 50 kilometers per hour, which is pretty quick for this old thing. Anyways, thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.